channel. If you don't know me, I am Megan Lane from Type A-ish. So this is a channel for creative people who are naturally disorganized but want to be more Type A or have tendencies, but we struggle. So this is um, what I'm going to pack for a two-day trip to Santa Fe. This is a road trip. We live in Albuquerque right now. Long story. We, we moved here from LA. Um, we're going with our dog for the first trip ever. He's a puppy. He's only six months old. His name's Sherlock. I'm sure you've seen him on the channel if you watched before. I want to do just a quick what I'm packing for a two-day trip on the road trip to Santa Fe. And we'll go, we'll get to all the dog stuff too, even if I have to film, film it after. I want to share that stuff since we're going for the first time with our dog. So a couple things we are always we always bring. This is a much pared down from when we're flying or taking longer trips, um, packing thing. Aside from like you know jewelry, clothes, whatever, we always bring um, these little things we got at the Hard Rock Reverb. They can do wine or they can do um, tea or coffee, just so in case they only give you like those little dinky paper cups in your room. You always have a nice cup you can travel with. You can throw it in your bag. You know if you carry a larger bag. Um, so that's coming with me. The big thing was toiletries and I had a dilemma because I usually try to pack everything in one of these. Um, this is my husband's actually. His is much pared down except I need to switch out for his, <laughs> his one. He's using one of mine. I couldn't find another container so he just used this pink one. But um, this has everything he needs and it's like lotions, q-tips, all the guy stuff, sunscreen, a little deodorant, Tylenol, a hair tie because he has long hair, uh, lotion, toothpaste, toothbrush, that kind of stuff. Really minimal. It even has, but I even decanted one of his colognes and one of these to go things. So he can, when we go out to a nice dinner, he can put on a cologne if he wants to, although he smells good without it. So it's just like a very, very pared down. These are a uh, set of two, by the way, uh, made by Lerminade. They're one of those TSA approved um, liquid bags and they're amazing. We have a his and hers of a lot of things. Where's mine? Here it is. So mine, you can see, is packed to the gills. It's a little bit more um, intense. I could obviously deodorant to solid and I could take that out um, and pack it separate, but I'm just putting it in with my toiletries because I use it when I use my toiletries. So I've got my leave-in conditioner. I've got some Advil dry shampoo. This is, um, I always suggest you guys keep sample sizes if you get bonus stuff of your favorite products. I just take the big one and keep refilling this small Estee Lauder day wear because it has, um, it smells uh, like cucumbers. It's like really nice, clean, fresh smell. And it has um, SPF 15 in it. So I always, I wear this daily, but it's really nice to have when you travel, just to have a little extra SPF, even if you put sunscreen on over. I've got, this is getting moved over. I decided to do my makeup separate day. Normally I do all of it in one, but because I'm not flying, I don't have to get all of my liquids in one bag. So I separated them out. I even keep a little travel poopery. So if you have a small bathroom space or something, or you know, you're sharing a room, one bathroom usually, um, you can spray this in the toilet before anyone goes number two <laughs> on your travels if you're married or whatever. Whatever, you guys, we're human. <laughs> so, But it makes it smell really nice instead of stink in the bathroom. So it's just, it's really good if you're like on tour or traveling with a bunch of people, like a bachelorette trip or something. It's just a nice thing to have. Um, and most people wouldn't think of that. Um, then I've got my little face cleanser. I save all my nicer samples. This is one from... Um, First Aid Beauty. So like just nicer cleansers. I'm just moving that over to a little baby lipstick. There's things that have hidden in here. And I'll be um, doing some fun DIY travel projects up in the future on the channel. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. I'm definitely coming out with that. Had an idea of how to get all my colors in one uh, for lippies without having to carry a lot of lipsticks. So I'll always, always, always carry moisture surge things or eye care things because you know, the drier the air, the wrinkles come out, or vitamin B gets depleted, your skin gets dry when you fly too. So always bring moisturizing things, I've got like all about eyes, all my bonus things from Clinique and Estee Lauder and any, anywhere else I get them fresh. A lot of my favorite brands. I always have an extra hair tie or two and a barrette in this kit as well, and a Tylenol. It looks like I have Tylenol and Advil, just in case you have a headache and you just don't want to feel awful on vacation. Some things, some things to note. I have my like eye makeup remover again, sample sized. This one was a, a 
vitamin C makeup primer from Bobbi Brown that I decanted into here just to make things smaller and make them more manageable. I always carry a tweezer. I always have a nail kit, but that stays in our um, bags. I keep it packed in one of our suitcases because we always need nail kits just in case we have a hang nail or anything. Um, I always say bring a nasal spray, uh, allergy nasal spray, if you have any allergies at all. Make that part of your thing that stays in your to-go kit. I have a baby Visine in here that I got at Target. Um, I've got a baby nail file, so a lot of little emergencies covered in here. Of course, toothpaste, toothpaste, toothbrush, toothpaste, all the normal stuff. Big uh, Jergens, lotion, things like that. And I believe I got us some travel Aveeno size because Aveeno is my favorite lotion. So this is all of the things I need in a tiny, tiny kit, except for my shampoo and conditioner, which I could fit in here now, but I chose not to fill, refill and do. Here's my puppy. Um, I got these recently, guys. These are awesome. Hi, honey. Hi, boo-boos. Hi, my baby. I don't want you running off with anything. He's a cute beagle puppy. So we got these. Um, these were an Amazon favorite of a lot of people's. I love it. You can turn it to do four different bottles. I, oh, I want to open and show you. So it's like this. And when you just turn it, it squeezes out the one that you want. And they have little baby labels that come with it. They can go at the top and tell you what each one is, which is amazing. And it can avoid the big, huge toilet paper bag. Obviously, my husband has everything he needs in his, so I'm not going to pack his. But I am going to pack mine because... I, because again, I'm not traveling by, um, oh, no, 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 come here, give me that, no, my dog likes to steal things out of my bag, no, it's being so naughty, um, <laughs> so, um, mine, I just didn't feel like packing all these separate things, so I've got my shampoo, conditioner, I've got a cleanser, and a, and a leave-in conditioner, puppy, puppy boy, hopefully you guys got a good look at my dog, so I'm gonna pack this guy too, just because again, we're unpacking just a small suitcase, um, like the, the bigger carry-on from away, which you guys know is my favorite, um, for almost any size trip, unless we're going somewhere for quite a while. In that case, we're probably um, going to start um, packing one of those in one large one and just separating out um, as needed with my hubs. Um, so this time I did my makeup separate. So this is just a bag from one of those makeup erasers that came with it with a Flamingo limited edition one. The any small but clear bag. I'm going to get the fancy one from Amazon eventually that's flat and has a clear top on it just so I can see everything at once. Um, I also have like a really fancy makeup brush travel set like this that comes on larger trips because it snaps open and then you can turn the other cup upside down and move your dirties over. It's very, very convenient for lo longer trips when you're going to be full glam and like taking the time to get ready. This is just a quick little fun romantic getaway with our dog. <laughs> so it's like a weird, a casual jaunt with nice dinners basically and walking around the city. So I moved my makeup over to this bag. I'm probably also, my husband probably will fit everything in his black version of this, which is uh, the everywhere bag by way we love away um i don't get sponsored by them but if they want to team up with me i won't say no um but he probably can fit everything he needs it's only two days in that but i'm gonna bring the larger suitcase just so i don't have to worry about trying to shove everything in i can easily pack all my things with room with just a couple outfits in it and all my toiletries and everything so this is amazing if you wear false eyelashes i'm not right now but when i go out to dinner um, I'll probably glam it up a bit. This is really inexpensive. I'll have all the links below because it's on Amazon. I recently found this for your beauty blender sponges. This, um, I got a bazillion of these on Wish. They stand up flat <laughs> and they dry your brush, your sponge without getting makeup on it from your bag. Um, these are amazing. I bought a bazillion of them to give to my friends too because they just, they were so inexpensive well on Wish so I bought them in bulk to give to my friends. The ones I've been seeing on Amazon or like locally in the States are really expensive but this was like less than a dollar. So a piece. So I got a bunch. Um, I've got like my, my eyebrow. Um, this one has color to it. I think it's by Benefit. I came in a brow kit. I've got like a baby little you know, powder I brought with me, but I'm again in, in New Mexico, it's so dry here. I probably won't need a lot of powder on this trip. I've got my little Thrive Cosmetics, um, gold, which I'm wearing right now for like a non eyeshadow eyeshadow look. Um, whoa, whoa, I'm throwing things. I always carry with me decanted perfume. You can get sets of these on Amazon. Sometimes Wish has them too and things like that. 
Um, this is just so you can carry your favorite perfume in a travel size without hauling the whole thing or having nothing. Um, it's really great. It's tiny, you know, it just really fits well in the bag. I always carry, and this will be part of the DIY future thing that I do. I always carry, because you'll always have just about, if you're makeup in between maximalist and minimalist, like I don't need to carry all the makeup I own, nor am I going out without makeup. Um, <laughs> and I want to have options. I always carry some sort of neutral lipstick, some sort of pink lipstick, and some sort of red lipstick. Those are my three go-tos. So I always have a mimic kit. I'm going to streamline this. I actually bought a, uh, a lip palette as well recently that has all of the colors you could need and it packs flat. So that's another option, but I don't really need to bring that because again, I'm not flying. So I'm not consolidating down as much as I can. I've also got, usually bring some sort of lip balm with me. It looks like I have a little flat, again, bring your travel size, flat little bare minerals, bronzer. I've got a couple of emergency little um, eyeshadows in here. I will bring, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of those Thrive sticks for like highlight. This works well for eyes and cheek highlight. Um, I'm not bringing my brush set because I have all the brushes I really need need in here, including um, like my eyeshadow, um, one for eyebrow and one for, um, what's it called? Yeah. Uh, powder and cheek, but I'm also using my chub, like this little chubby cheek thing uh, by e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi-Stick. You can get fancier ones, but these are really cheap and they look amazing. I'll show you guys. I have a little bit on now, but I go very minimal when I'm traveling and then I usually zhuzh up for dinner on the first day just to like, you know, feel fancy. So this is the trick, guys. You go here, either side, so you don't put your blush too close to your nose. It's more youthful, says makeup artist. So you can see like this will fade a little bit throughout the day, um, but it doesn't go away when you're traveling like powder blush, like your face each blush or whatever. It just gives a nice flush and it kind of mellows up. And this one has a little bit of a shimmer to it, which is great for summer. So e.l.f. makes those. And I always carry a black and a brown liner, always. I always have an eyelash curler and a waterproof mascara. And a couple other things in here, like uh, obviously my foundation, I just decant it to a small travel bottle. Can't remember where I got this one. I've had this for a while, maybe Container Store or Target, something like that. Um, and eyelash glue and makeup primer, <clears throat> things like that. But the ones I always have are like the lipsticks. I always have the two kinds of eyeliner and that's the makeup kit for this. And then um, let me grab. This is my bag. I also keep things packed in, but I'm probably not going to carry it because um, we're going in the car. We don't need, I'm not bringing a million snacks. We're only going for two days. So things I care, always pack in this are tea for my husband. I pack in his, I always sneak individually packed tea and Splenda's in his because he's he requires tea. He's British. He has to have it. So, And I don't want to hear about it or be in a panic to look for it. So I always, always pack him extra tea in his bag and sneak it in there. Um, just trying to be a good wife, you know, like newlyweds and all. Um, <laughs> so um, I always have SPF too and I'm going to shove this in his because he's got room. Yay! Okay. <laughs> This, I always carry this too, makeup wise. So it has every, just about everything but lippy that you need in here for like basic makeup, not face and all that, but like for, you know, pigmented makeup. Um, it's a face and eyeshadow basically. And this is the Emily um, Edit by Revolution London. The Needs, I got this on Sephora. Um, they may not have this one, but it's good to just get, get the colors you wear the most. I wear a lot of neutrals when I'm traveling. Sometimes I'll do like, because I wear a lot of red lipstick and do like a classic look with the lashes or I'll do a smoky eye, which I can do that with this. It has a highlight, it has bronzer, it has contour. You know, that's all I really need. So, and it packs flat. So I always bring this too. I could probably even fit it in one of these bags, but I don't feel that's necessary because again, I'm packing a, a small suitcase. Oh, this one's new and I am gonna start bringing this. So uh, you never know what the makeup mirror situation will be in your hotel or Airbnb or whatever. We're staying at a really nice, cool inn that's highly rated this time. Uh, I usually like to stay on the square in Santa Fe, but it's not far from the square and we're bringing my car. So this is a um, travel mirror and it can go backwards and hold like this. But the cool thing is look, ooh, Inception, <laughs> is that it's lighted. So you can change the light on it or turn it off. Isn't that cool? Oh, love it. So you can always find a spot to set up your makeup um, 
especially if you're traveling with a bunch of women um, who are competing for mirror space or something. Um, this is new as well. Clinique now makes my um, favorite take the day off makeup remover in wipes. This is all I'll need. I don't need really need uh, cleansers and makeup removers and all that. I am throwing this in my bag and I will be flying with this because it's considered a solid, not a liquid. Yay, eliminate some of those liquids. This is always, always gonna be with me when I'm traveling from now on because sometimes at the end of the day of travel, you just wanna take your makeup off fast and crash. So that's my new favorite. Um, I'm trying to just see what's in here. I always pack sunglasses, um, chargers. I have a whole bag, just a special bag for chargers. I bring a travel straw that's coming with me because you never know. And paper straws fall apart, I hate them. And that's more sustainable anyway for the environment and all. It looks like I have a palette in here from my last trip to Atlanta, is a Winnie the Pooh. But you see like, same colors I always wear. So bring my basics, some mints, things like that. Extra hair ties, masks. Um, if you have vitamins to pack for a short trip, I'll just pack mine like this. These are vitamins, it looks like. Um, Omega-3s, I can recognize vitamin D, things like that. So you can always pack one of these little guys, bad boys. I'm just gonna bring my bottles, because again, sometimes it's about what's the lowest stress for you. It's not about trying to be so minimal, unless it's planned ahead of time and you just grab it and go. Like these things were, a lot of them were pre-packed. I just chose to consolidate today because I had more things than I needed on this trip. I am gonna bring this pressed powder though. I like the Wonder 2 pressed powder a lot. Um, no, it's really falling apart. Okay, last trip with that, but I'm bringing it with me. Um, it's nice to have a pressed powder when you might get shiny or whatever. I bring nail glue. If I do press ons, these were done, so they're not going anywhere. They're acrylic. Um, got my nails done yesterday for first time in a really long time. Uh, what else? I think that's it, you guys. I also grab a miniature uh, first aid kit, which I always travel with. I'll show these later on in the video. This is just like the basic toiletry section. Um, so that's part one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, I'm going to film this um, imperfect thing, a imperfect video of a two-day trip packed to Santa Fe while my dog is out there digging in the garden. <laughs> See his little tail right there? Okay, so anyway, back to the suitcase. So, I did not pack a lot this trip. I, in fact, didn't even put a jewelry holder in here. I put my earrings loose, which is not ideal, but I did it. Dirty laundry bag. This is pretty empty. I may put an extra bra or swimsuit in here just to have something to wear in case there's a hot tub or anything. Probably not this trip. I always suggest people pack loungewear. I'm wearing my yoga pants now. I've got a little uh, sweatshirt here just in case you want to lounge around in the room or hang out but not wear pajamas. I've decided to roll my um, stuff this time. I almost always use packing cubes, but again, this is only a two-day trip. So I don't really need packing cubes in order to be organized. It's very easy. I've got a couple shapers, one more than other. I brought um, like lightweight cotton dresses that pack well. This could be for dinner, this could be for dinner, this could be for dinner. So we'll just see how my mood is. There's two nights of nice dinners. So I've got the black basic one. I've got like this cute patio dress. I'm thinking that's dinner tonight when there's a flamenco dancer there and stuff. It's a patio dress in the 60s. It's not appropriation, <laughs> just so people know, but it kind of has that Santa Fe feel. So I think it'll look cute. I wear it with my big fan earrings. So this is a tank top to go with yoga pants if I want to lounge in the room. A pair of um, lightweight pajamas and for the last day coming home like brunch or Sunday brunch or Monday um, I've got this and I could always throw my yoga pants on and a tank to drive home if I want. I am currently wearing simple flip-flops for driving and to be comfortable. I'm not packing athletic shoes. If I was to work out or be or hike or be somewhere for longer, I would pack that. So that is the clothes section. Making me realize I need to pack underwear <laughs> and a swimsuit. Um, but other than that, I'm good to go. This is um, new. This is, as I told you, the cords thing. I think this is going to go and live in my husband's bag because I haven't the laundry. Sorry, I forgive me. I need two hands to up to show you guys. Um, if you were being in a perfect world, we put all of our electronics. This is going to eventually become grab and go, just travel electronics that we keep in here and don't move back after we're done. So that goes on the hard shell side, but it's going to go in my husband's because he has more room. Um, he doesn't have to wear as many shoes. He's a dude, so <laughs> he's a guy. So I've got my espadrilles, which I always wear to every fancy dinner or trips where I have to be a little more dressed up but not quite heels and not 
and a lot of walking involved. So Santa Fe is a very walking heavy city. Um, normally I would put this smaller purse for some spring and summer trips. I put it in the hard sell side. I'm carrying it today, but it goes with everything. It's neutral. I've got my cup, which I showed in the earlier part of the video. I always carry that. Um, I've got my makeup. I've got my toiletries. I threw a couple of things in loose because I just wanted more. This will go in that travel thing, but I'm shoving it in here for now. Let's be real. Makeup, toiletries. I've got a headband in case my hair, I ever have good second day hair, but I don't want to do my hair. I just want to throw it in a headband that looks cute with a white dress. I threw it in there last minute. Um, my travel razor, which is supposed to go with my toiletries, but I did, forgot to pack it. Um, and then we showed you guys this earlier. This goes in the hard shell side, as does that makeup mirror, the travel makeup mirror in part one. And I just play Tetris with it until everything's very flat, you know, like this could be better. I also always pack a pair of uh, fancier sandals when I go travel to places like Santa Fe. Like obviously these can second as house shoes, but these are, would be cute with any of those dresses that I packed, except for the blue one. And um, if I wanted to go more casual or they'll go with the Esper girls, they're just a great, cute, casual look. Um, and I always get compliments on these. I got them on friggin' Amazon. They're Chinese laundry. I'll, I'll put the link to everything if it's still available. So I'm just kind of putting those in here. You can shower cap your shoes to keep them from getting dirty, blah, blah, blah. This is a quick trip. I'm not packing perfectly like I do when I fly. Um, so look how easy because the hard, everything's on the hard shell side. Everything's on the soft side. This is the, uh, the bigger away suitcase, like I said. And the cool thing about this one, aside from everything, is that it clips here at the bottom. Again, I'm doing this one handed. It's a little hard, but you clip it and you can tighten down your clothes like this. So you can see one side versus the other and it just makes everything nice and compact. This will easily go together. I'll show you in a sec. Make sure I'm <laughs> filming the right direction. So, so here we go. So we just flip it over and zip it. And that's it. And the, yes, it needs a magic eraser. I got white, which isn't the smartest, but I love the way it looks when I clean it. So, and he's got black and I've got white. When we got married, we got these larger, um, bigger carry-ons. And so it's like his and hers. It's very cute. It says Mr. and Mrs. Honor. Tags here. Love it. 